Hey, it's Rachel from The Life Facilitator, and I am sharing a memory planning video today. Wee, I'm so excited. Okay, to start off, I have my Disbound Coco Daisy memory planner inside this cover from the Happy Planner. It's from their like work and life collection. It is solving a problem that I've had with disc bound planners sitting not so nicely on the shelf and having it in this cover has actually been really helpful because I feel like the planner is more sturdy. Will I keep it disc bound? I don't know. We'll see. Um, I am working on a spread in June. Um, I am several months behind and I am okay with that. I had a very busy summer, which is good. Um, it meant that I have a lot to document, um, but it also meant that I didn't get a lot of memory planning completed over the summer months. We were in the process of buying a house or buying a condo, moving to back to Florida, back to Miami. And so just, I knew that this was going to be a season when I was not doing a lot of memory planning and that I would have to return to it at a later date. And that date is today. So I am starting, as you saw, I, this is the first four days of June. So it was like Thursday to Sunday. And so I didn't, I didn't want to I just wanted to start fresh with June and I actually didn't have any photos from Monday through Wednesday that were worth putting in my memory planner. And so, um, I decided to just cover all, like just white out all the dates and do more of like a grid layout. Um, and I will put the dates at, in that bottom box. And so I, um, this is a great example of what happens when you haven't done a crafty project in a while and maybe you're a little rusty and I will be honest I was a little rusty getting started um I wanted to pull from the colors in this spread and I had some definitely some reds to work with and I often do not use red so this was an interesting challenge for me and um but i think i started to find my groove when i went back to my like go-to items and that really helped me get into my creative flow one of those go-to items the last few months in my memory planner has been these box stickers from mojo jojo plans i am obsessed with them um, I know they're just colored boxes. I, I am aware of their, their, what they are, but I gotta be honest, they are the best. And I, I don't know what it is about these magical little boxes, but they really help create the structure for my spread and help me kind of get moving creatively. One, it helps me create my color palette. So I have pulled a red, which if I'm honest, is kind of more of like a coral, but that's fine. Um, a like peachy color, and then there's the teal and then the green. And so now I have my color palette and I'm looking at these colors and I'm like, well, you know what goes with these colors? Uh, the Coco Daisy Daily Journal collection kit, which um, if you did not know, um, th this kit was from September of 2023 and it is, it's hands down my favorite kit, I think maybe ever from Coco Daisy, but definitely, um, definitely this year, this is my favorite kit. Um, I love the mixed media elements in this collection. I am, I don't consider myself a mixed media person, but I really love when it's, when there are mixed media elements already on the pattern or like on the page. So this looks like I, you know, spent a long time, you know, playing with paint on the page and I did not. Um, so I just, it's, it's such a, it was such a fun collection and um and I have used 
quite a bit of it in my planners. And then I have done, I think one or two other memory planner spreads, but those spreads were like from May. Um, but I plan to use this collection until I cannot use it anymore. So as, because this is a grid, because I am not concerned with the days, um, I have tried to keep to a sort of like system of like a decorative box, a photo, a journaling box in some way shape or form so you can see I, I did that across the top I did a version of that along the second row of photos and then went a little rogue in the bottom section and and I like that I like that everything feels really structured sort of towards the top and then we have that one photo that's like a little askew and that really makes me happy um, yeah, so I have my boxes down, I have my decorative boxes down. Now I'm going in and thinking about how I want to both embellish the journal boxes and the photos themselves. Um, I wanted to use a couple big elements, like that big camera, um, to take up some of the space on in, for that decorative box. and partly because there's a lot of other like more dainty items on the page but yeah I just I just really liked that camera I saw it in my drawer I pulled it out I used it um, now I'm gonna go in with my trusty alpha stickers um, when in doubt for me when in doubt alpha stickers um, they allow me to basically create titles and fill space, which is a win-win. Um, and so I'm going to use alpha stickers in a couple places to kind of mark the thing in the photo or just like, yeah, to sort of create a title. Um, yeah, I, um, what, what am I doing now? Oh, I'm working on that top one. I at this point in in my in the memory planning spread I am I'm grooving um, I've I've really got a sense of like what I want to see in the rest of the spread and I have to I'm I'm trying to avoid overdoing it which depending on your perspective this might feel a little bit full um, because there, there is very little white space and there will be very little white space at the end of the spread. But I like that it's clean and full. That's kind of what I'm going for. And so um, also I should mention this time of year, like end of September, October, I'm thinking about my systems for next year, whether it be my planning systems my journaling systems, my memory planning systems, all of my systems are starting to get auditioned for the next year. And the the one system that I'm definitely unsure of and trying and exploring a lot of options is my memory planner. Um, after moving again um, and having to move boxes of <laughs> memory planners and planners at large, um, I really am at the point where I would like to scale down my format. So this is working for now, um, and I will continue out this year in the Daisy Planner, but over the next few weeks, you will likely see me doing some auditioning of or sharing some ideas for memory planner layouts for 20 or formats for 2024. So stay tuned for that. That is coming. I am close to wrapping up this spread. I am looking at the top of the page and realizing something needs to happen there and washi to the rescue as always. Um, and I even was able to do a little bit of layering of washi, which felt fun and funky, especially for this spread. And I will add um, 
that arrow felt a little bit too heavy. So I'm going to go in with a slightly less heavy arrow. And then for the dates, I'm going to pull stickers from a Carpe, not Carpe Diem. Yeah, Simple Stories Carpe Diem kit. And that's it. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in my next video.